welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Emma. Welcome. If you are um, not new here, then it is lovely to have you back. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My channel is one next Thursday. I feel like I'm going to buy a cake and light a candle. It's really exciting. Um, and I've just, I really, really, really enjoyed my last 12 months on YouTube. I've been through a massive um, emotional roller coaster while I've done this channel. It started off as my Slimming World journey and then I ended up sacking that off in about May <laughs> because I, would, I just went completely psychotic with it. Um, and I'm sure most of you, have, if you have followed me for quite a while, you will have seen my, my meltdown. <laughs> on camera um, and yeah I'm basically I'm just here I have put weight on I'm now a size 16 but you know I'm loving life loving cake and just enjoying myself so yeah this is my little corner of YouTube where I get to do my favorite thing which is go to charity shops hunt out bargains and then pop them on my size 16 frame for you guys the majority of the comments I get are people kind of saying that they love that part about my videos, not necessarily that they're from charity shops, but when I try things on, showing you different ways of wearing them and giving you the confidence to try new things. And that pleases me, that makes me feel so good that even one person has made a purchase and thought, yeah, I'm going to try that, I'm going to be more daring. Not that I am particularly daring, but I think it's just somebody else's ideas and seeing how things can be worn in different ways and not necessarily wearing that how it's supposed to be worn and wearing it in a different way so yeah so like I say that's what I'm here to do uh, my mug is courtesy of my gorgeous friend Charlotte who this was in my what I got for my birthday last year I think um the Cornish wear because you know I love all things Cornish my blouse is courtesy of my mum's wardrobe <laughs> We have a bit of a thing where I go and visit and then I come home with clothes that she she can't believe she even bought or she can't fit into anymore or that I gave her three years earlier and now, now, now I want them back. So um, that's it. So like I say, I am going to show you some things that I've bought from charity shops over the last few weeks and I hope you enjoy them. Now, I, I'm sorry I'm standing up but I've made myself um, a bit of a problem because we've had a new bed. And it's got an end on it and our other bed didn't have an end on it so I could perch myself on the end of the bed and do like the show and tell bit and then stand up and do the trying on bit but I have given myself a bit of <laughs> I have made it so that I have nowhere to sit now so much as I love my new bed it wasn't until this morning when I thought I'll do a video I was like oh shit I've got nowhere to sit <laughs> So I'm standing, but actually I don't mind that. Um, so yeah, but if you follow me over on Instagram, then there is the story of our new bed and the photograph of our new bed, which is absolutely amazing. It's from Feather and Black, I bloody love it. Um, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, then why don't you follow me on Instagram? <laughs> Go over there. Um, I am Radcliffe underscore E, or if you go to the About Me section of my channel, then you will see um, my link to YouTube, no, to, to YouTube, you'll be on YouTube, to Instagram. My Twitter link is there. I wouldn't bother because I don't. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you a couple of bits that I've bought from charity shops. There are a couple of absolutely amazing things. I haven't bought much, but I have quite, quite spied, spent quite a bit of money. Um, but you know we've had quite a low spend January really apart from my charity shop <laughs> purchases um, so I'm going to just everything's kind of hanging over here so I'll show you a few of the things that I have bought so one of the first things that I bought was this blouse which is originally from Bowden it's got the label there it's a size 14 and it was eight pounds, you can see that. And it was from the Cancer Research over in Alderley Edge. Oh my God, you've got to go to Alderley Edge shopping because people just buy nice things and give nice things away. And it it's just lovely, you know, it, it really is nice. If you fancy a day out, there's a couple of lovely coffee shops there. It's really, really pretty. It's literally one street. It's shit for parking. 
but apart from that it's it's lovely um but yeah i really really like this frill detail down the front i am enjoying wearing things like this wearing blouses and wearing high necked things in my last charity shop haul i bought a cream blouse with the three gold buttons down there which all of you said that you really really liked and i absolutely love it and i i've every time i wear it i'm like oh my god i just love this style of this this high neck um i being a woman of a certain age have got like not a wrinkly chest but i sleep very much like that and so everything sort of squishes together and i have kind of got these classic three wrinkles down my chest down you know um which by about 11 a.m they've kind of ironed out a little bit when i first get up in the morning jesus christ i'm like mad off benadorm like um <laughs> so um i am quite conscious of my chest and i think there is quite a lot of sun damage on my chest as well which also you know if i could turn back time in the words of share i would put a lot more sunscreen on my chest but i suppose even when you walk around in the day and it's bright and you put sunscreen on your face i don't i never really bothered with my chest apart from like if i'm actually sunbathing which i know i know terrible um and i don't do it now i am i am really good so i am actually preferring i digress back i am preferring this kind of um style for me at the moment so it's a lovely lovely blush pink and then it's got these lovely kind of cobalt blue flowers it's very very sheer obviously um, but I do have a nudie coloured vest that I wore, I tried underneath it. Um, and just with jeans, it's just kind of really, I mean I will try you on, but it is, it is really, really nice. Oh, look at that. I can hang them on the end of my bed. <laughs> um, so remember in last time's video when I bought my, I bought some leather trousers and I told you the whole story about the white company trousers and how I took them back and how I got a cheapo pair for four pound. Well, the cheapo pair, lovely as they are, um, they're not gonna last. And I noticed I'd worn them a couple of times and they were already beginning to give in the gusset. <laughs> and the, the pleathery stuff is like peeling off them. And I thought, oh my God. And I just thought, I'm gonna, I can just see myself going out one day and they're just gonna go or the, the a whole piece of, pleather is going to slide off them um like it's like it's like you could sort of peel it off like wallpaper you know it's like curling and i thought oh dear god so in elderly edge i came across these which were brand new with tag which has fallen on the floor bear with so they were brand new with the next tag um, and they were, I've taken the label off because I've actually worn these quite a few times, they were £4. They are actually, don't tell anybody, but they're a size 18. But do you know what? Who gives a shit? If they fit you, they fit you. I'm not wondering on the label hanging out. And I don't really care. I think size, in, especially in clothes, is, is, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but... You know what I mean? I think, you know, this blouse is a 14. The blouse I'm about to show you is an 18, but it fits me exactly the same as this. My jeans are a 14. I've got jeans that are size 16. I've got jeans that are size 12, and I can get in them all. Um, so yeah, so these are an 18. I really like them. I think they've got a, they've got a little bit more about them than the other trousers. Um, they're, they, obviously they feel a little bit better made. The pleather, it, the coating is a little bit different on them. They sit a little bit higher. They've got these kind of fake pockets. And I just um, thought, well, I've kind of proved to myself that I will wear them. So upgrade <laughs> to these. And like I say, they were new with tags. So whether someone of a size 18 has bought them and thought, yeah, which she shouldn't have done, but you know, thank you for doing that because I got a right old bargain. So I am still, and that won't fit over the end of my thing without scratching it. Oh, you see, even coat hangers are different sizes when they're supposed to not be. Um, yeah, I, I am still kind of feeling that you have to wear, I have to wear something a little bit longer with them because at the end of the day, they are just a legging and you can kind of see panty lines and lumps and bumps through them, but, but I do love them. And then I bought this top, which is originally, 
Oh, that's the wrong way around. Papaya? Is that Matalan? I don't know if it's Matalan or if it's, it might well be, um, oh my God, what's it called? Primark. Um, where does it say? Where does it, Matalan, isn't it? Yeah. So it is, excuse me, it's not been ironed. I have worn it and it has got a little bit of makeup on the inside there. But it is basically, it's got cuffs and it's got a bottom. And then it's like this really sort of sheer, um, satiny, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see that on camera. But it's really, really nice. And it's quite, it's probably see it more like that. It's a little bit, sh um, little bit uh, like silky looking. And I thought that that would probably look really nice. It's something that you can dress up and you can dress down. I had this from the cancer research i think no i didn't no i didn't i had it from claire house in our local village and it was three pound and i just thought you know what i probably can do a lot with that and that is a size 18. however i think if i'd have got that in any smaller of a size which i will show you it probably wouldn't have fit me and i think what you have to be very mindful of in charity shops is that somebody's washed this you know potentially 10 or 15 times especially with it being white so it may have been a lot bigger than this to start with, but things shrink. Um, so I would always say, just you know, have a little gander at the sizes on the rail. The sizes you don't necessarily want to look at, but the chances are that you'll find something that will actually fit you really nice because it has been washed and it has shrunk slightly. Or similarly, with small things, they grow a little bit, you know, when they're washed and they give and they're not as structured maybe. So, you know, that's why I've got things that are a size 10 and a size 12 that I've had from charity shops that fit me absolutely fine because somebody else has washed them and worn them and grown them and then they fit me. So it's like, it, you know, it's like eventually it's all meant to be. <laughs> um, I bought a, let me just have a sniff of that. Um, I bought a couple of other bits which are still in here. I bought beeswax produce bag. Um, you know one of those kind of biodegradable, I haven't even opened it yet, a bag for like putting your butties in for work. It was £2 and it's by a company called Bee Sweet and Bumble, but B as in B-double-E. And it's got the bees all over it. And I thought every day I could take my butties in that because I am trying to be a little bit more mindful of waste and plastic and things. And I just thought that that would be a really nice thing. I'm not going to give it because my daughter takes sandwiches every day. And I was going to give it to her, but I thought she'll throw it away. She won't realise what it is. <laughs> She'll chuck it in the bin at school. So I just thought I could take all kinds of things in there for work. And I just thought it's, I just love it. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with that. And they are quite expensive. So to see one for £2 and, you know, all still kind of in its packaging and stuff. I was really pleased with that. So I got that. Um, what else? There is something else in here. Where are you? Was it found on the floor? Just, oh God. Oh no, it's there. Um, spoiler. <laughs> um, I got this, which was one ninety nine from the Oxfam in Elderly Edge, and it's a beaded heart. And I thought it was a very, very white company esque, but um, at a fraction of the price. And I have got sort of wooden sticky things in the living room if you've seen my christmas house tour you will have seen them but there's one that i had bought for me and one that i made they're almost like a christmas tree they are the christmas tree really that you can dangle things off and i keep them up year round and dangle seasonal seasonal trinkets off for them and so this will be winding its merry way downstairs onto one of those so i absolutely love that and paid £1.99 and these in the white company or something very similar of similar kind of design they're like eight and ten pound so, bargain. And then, God, wear your sunglasses. <laughs> I got this scarf, which is grey on one side, like a gorgeous, gorgeous soft grey, and then proper, proper um, electric, what do you call it? Fuchsia, no, not fuchsia, fluorescence, that's the word I'm after, kind of greeny yellow. 
um, and I just I love 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 it and this was originally from Zara and oh no <laughs> and this was originally from ASOS <laughs> Um, and it's got the, oh my god, I can't even see it, oh, the ASOS label there. And I paid £4 for this, which again is quite a lot of money, but you're getting a lot of book for your bang, aren't you, really? A lot of bang for your book. One of them, anyway. But I just thought, because I love the colourway of it, and it's so super cosy, that, you know, you don't really, I mean, I love it like, like that. Sometimes you feel like you've got too much hair for. But what I thought was, you could almost do it so that you don't really need to see any of the grey, sorry, any of the green at all. You know, you can sort of put it around that way. It's not working at all how I thought it would. <laughs> but you know what I mean, don't you? So that it's not like completely in your face. But I do like just that little sort of, Jesus Christ. It's <laughs> anyway, um, you know what I mean. So you can just sort of play around with things like that and just have them um, however you like. But I wear quite a lot of grey and I thought that it would just be a really, really nice um, addition. I have a couple of big scarves, but I don't have anything that's this, well, who, does anybody have anything that's this colour? I don't have anything that's this colour grey. And I just thought it would be a really, really nice thing. And also things like this, you know, you don't just have to limit them to winter. Because if you're out in the, you know, in the summer, <laughs> and it just goes a bit chilly in the evening, and you can just kind of wrap something like that around you, then I just think, I've always got things like this around on the sofas and, you know, on the benches outside in the summer and things. And I just think they're super duper cosy. Or you could pop it over the end of your bed as a, a bit of a throw. Who knows, you know, if there's just so much to be done with a big fat scarf. Um, and then I have two more things to show you. One of them is a dress and one of them is a coat. So I'll show you the dress first. So this was my dress. It's by Whistles. It's a, I think it's a size 16, I think, but don't quote me. Um, I'm going to have to find the thing now. It's a wrap dress. Oh, I don't even know. Do you know what? I think it's one of the, oh, it's a 16. Yeah. Um, there's the little label with the size. It's a wrap dress and I paid £15 for this. So it's very, very sheer at the top and then it's lined underneath where the wrap part is. There's lots and lots and lots of fabric to it. These huge, big, kind of billowy sleeves that are three quarter length. Now, like I said to you before, I'm not really a lover of a deep plunge. Great word. Um, <laughs> but I wore this in a way that I wore something underneath it and I felt really, really nice in it. We were going to a 60th birthday party. I had a major meltdown because I had nothing to wear. Because the majority of my clothes are very casual, I don't do going out, I don't do dressy. I've got sort of smart jeans and sparkly jackets and things, but I wanted to wear something a little bit dressier. And I tried all my dresses on and I looked like I'd been squeezed into sausages you know like it was just not not a good look and we went out because I was like I just I feel like I'd just like something new to wear and I saw this and this was like I say it was 15 pound this was in cancer research in elderly edge and when I tried it on I, I did love it but I had to have a vision of what I thought I could make it look like and I absolutely love it and I've worn it twice now. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen one of the ways that I styled this. Um, and But the time before, I, I liked it more, but I didn't photograph that one, if it makes sense. Um, so I've worn it to a couple of different events. I've worn it with thick tights and Doc Martin boots and I've worn it with stilettos, so versatility. And um, I looked on the Whistles website and the dress originally was over £100 and um, I can't, it's around 130 I think. And Whistles is, is a company that I, I never, I don't know really, I, I don't buy stuff from, apart from, from Chaz's. 
So I was really, really pleased with that. And the girl, the model on the website, because it is still available, believe it or not, um, the model on the website is super, super duper skinny. And she's got it on with bare legs and a pair of trainers. And it looks ace. And I'm thinking, I could rock that with my Converse in the summer. Um, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> and then my final thing that I bought was this which is a barber coat and I am so happy with this I have got a um, jewels coat very similar to this but with a hood and it's navy and it's quilted and it's got the flowers inside and can I fasten it up can I buggery so <laughs> I um, was when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I love it, and I love the colour. I've got, I've also got a Jules gilet, which is almost the same kind of pattern and colour. It likes quilted, and can I fasten it up? Can I shine it? So <laughs> when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's the lovely colour of my gilet that I love, and I can't fasten, and it's the style of my coat which I love, but I can't fasten. Um, but it's a barber and my husband's got a barber coat that we actually got from a charity shop last year or the year before I think and we paid about £50 for it but again barber is so expensive and obviously lasts really really well and I've loved his coat since he's had it and I thought this would be brilliant a for throwing on for work which I have done a couple of times um, and for throwing on with jeans and knee-high boots when I want to go, we, we, you know, if we're going out um, shopping or for a walk or somewhere where, you know, if you go for a walk and then you're going for lunch in a country pub but it's not tweed jacket weather, um, then I thought this would kind of come into its own because it's such a fleecy lined, waterproof. So I paid ooh, £25 for this. I think I have still got... Oh, it's right in bloody front of me. <laughs> that was £25. And can you see that? Da, 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 da. And that was from Cancer Research in my local village. And I saw it and loved it. In fact, I'll try it on for you now. I saw it and loved it, but I wasn't with my husband. And although he kind of gets the fact that, you know, I love a bargain, Sometimes when things are this expensive, you may as well be buying them from a real shop, as in you could probably pick up a jacket in Primark for £25, you know, a, a proper coat. So, but it's Barber. So I sort of sent him a photograph of it and because, yes, it's from a charity shop, but it's still £25 and that's still quite a lot of money, really. And so I didn't want to kind of meet back up with him and go, oh, by the way, I've just spent £25. You just go, oh, for God's sake. But I showed it to him, on the, I sent him a photograph of it and he was like, I hope you're buying it because it's really, really nice. And so, you know, I don't need much encouragement. So that is the barber jacket. So it does, it fastens up. I mean, obviously, I, mean, I suppose you could wear it with this. Let me just, um, oh Jesus, fasten it you up. And it has a belt. Um, which again just gives me a little bit more shape because the jewels one I got doesn't have a belt. Um, and I just think that that's really really nice. And it's just fits me perfect. It's a size 16. Um, so, like I say, it's like somebody was it was just waiting for me to go in and get it and to be fair when I when I put it on um, sorry when I bought it the, the girl in the shop said we've literally only just put that out and I was like well I've literally just bought it but it's really really cool isn't it and it's in perfect condition and I you know god bless these rich people who just think yeah I just give that barber coat away now because this I'll never give this away even though it's from a charity shop <laughs> because I now own a barber coat so I am going to try you on a couple of the other things I have bought um, so I'll be back shortly this is the Bowden shirt which I absolutely love I just love this detail down the front I'm just wearing sort of a very nudie um, vest underneath 
Now, I personally would tuck this in, not necessarily all the way round, so that it kind of sits over a little bit at the back, but I just think that tucking something in, even though I'm bigger and even though I've got a tummy and obviously I've got hips and I've got muffin tops, I think they're better disguised because it almost looks like the blouse is blousing over the top of your jeans rather than it's your body that's causing it to do that. So I really like that and I almost think it make, it's, it slims you down and it makes your legs look longer by tucking something in. Like I say, I know not everybody will want to and wearing it out is absolutely fine but I think it shortens your legs and I haven't got particularly long legs. I've got quite a long body, um, but I think that I'm still, I'm still wearing these boots, which I absolutely love, which are my Dune boots, which I picked up for £15 in a charity shop, and I just really, really like that. I think it's very feminine, it's quite girly, it's quite romantic, it's quite dressy, but actually it's quite... You could kind of go anywhere dressed like this. I could go out for lunch, I could go out for dinner, um, I could go shopping, I could probably go for a walk, meeting friends, so I really, really like it. And I tried it on, weirdly, let me show you. I tried it on with a couple of my different jackets because I wanted to see how they looked. Because you don't necessarily always have to wear something very plain and simple under a tweed jacket. And I just thought... That with it having that ruffle down the front I think because it's so neutral and there isn't a massive amount of colour in it I actually think that wearing it with the um, the shirt wearing the shirt with the tweed jacket you can sort of get away with it um, yeah I don't think that looks too bad however I actually preferred it when I tried it on with my velvet jacket which is a Laura Ashley one that I picked up last year at the tail end of last year because I like the I like the luxury, I like how luxurious it feels and what I'm going to do, because I love these sleeves I think they're absolutely fantastic I love how they, they can blue now however, because the jacket is slightly oversized on me the jacket, the sleeves sort of come down and they hide that ruffle so, so I'm going to get a couple of bubbles and I'm just going to put that up my arm and then I'm going to balloon over the top of it so that it looks ever so slightly like it's been pulled up and that arm, like that, looks a lot better than that arm, I think. So it because it just looks that uh, it looks like it's swamping me a little bit and it makes the whole thing look a little bit oversized. But if you just pop, I mean obviously if you can get ones that actually match the colour of the jacket, <laughs> um, not a pink one, and just literally pull it over, try and make sure that they're a bobble that have got a lot of give because I did do this with quite a tight band and I felt like I'd got a tourniquet around my arm. Um, and again you can sort of mess with them and pull them down to where you want and I just think that that gives it a bit of a more casual edge because you can see that underneath I think even if I didn't have that and I was wanting this to look a little bit more casual and I just got a t-shirt on underneath by doing that it looks like you sort of pushed your sleeves up and it instantly looks a little bit more current and a little bit more trendy almost and a little bit younger and I think it just kind of gives the jacket it takes the jacket away from being quite mumsy because it's a velvet blazer to being something a little bit more edgy and a little bit trendier just by that really simple little thing of pulling the sleeves up and allowing them to stay up and I just think that that is something that I would I could wear all day long and I think having quite a, a fussy blouse with it I really really like because it's almost a bit Victoriana and the velvet and the frills and I really like that and I should probably wear this if I go and watch Emma on the um, cinema because how could I not go and watch Emma? <laughs> 
gutted I'm not in it but yeah so I just again I just think it's a really easy way of updating your wardrobe updating a blazer that you've already got um, and I just think that that looks really nice and don't be afraid that the colour in the blouse has got no correlation with the colour of the jacket that you're wearing because the blue and the green and the pink they don't match at all but somehow they work because you've got it's tonally right if you understand what I mean and I would be happy to wear this I showed you this jacket last year over a bottle green lace top and I absolutely love that look um, I like to wear it with a colour that isn't white or isn't black um, wearing a colour with colour I'm a really big advocate of and I think wearing a colour over a colour makes both colours look a lot richer rather than wearing this over white which makes that both colours just look completely flat in my opinion um, and I love the blue and the green together so yeah if you've got an old blazer and you, and you know like even just a navy blazer I'm sure most people have got a black or a navy blazer just pull it out and update it and roll the sleeves up and wear, wear it over something that you wouldn't normally wear it over and um, and I just think you'll probably be quite surprised at the looks that you can come up with um, so I'll just pop over the top of that so I've got my brown bag that was from white stuff and I've got my brown boots on and I just I think that that is just a really really lovely casual but romantic but nice look and I think it's something that you can probably all replicate at home but like I say get um, bands that don't make like, your arms feel like they can fall off <laughs> and just to say as well you don't always have to do every blouse right up to the top so I'm more than happy sort of wearing that like that I think personally it does more for me having the colour up to my face because it's a because the pink is so similar to my skin tone I think it can wash me out a little bit having that against my face but having the colour right there I think works better but you know if you've got a bigger bust or you don't want to wear things straight up to your neck there then just you know do wear them open neck but still do the same with the jacket and um, and you'll still sort of get that same overall effect with the, with the ruffles and the romance <laughs> ruffles and romance I like that um, Oh, let me try you this other top on them while I'm here. So this is the Matalan top. And it's just, again, I have to. I'm sorry, I can't not. <laughs> but it just, it's just, it's oversized, it's floaty, it's quite romantic looking. I'm all about these sleeves. I just love it. Like I say, it's, it's sheer and... I like the neckline of it, um, it's one of those that you could wear a couple of lovely necklaces with and again I think just with jeans as an alternative to wearing a jumper because I do wear a lot of sort of thin knit jumpers but I do get a bit more conscious of my um, muffin tops when I wear thinner knit jumpers because they do tend to cling whereas this I find that I've got the cuffs and the bottom so I've got the structure of a jumper almost without the clinginess. Um, but I just think that this sort of material, and obviously it wasn't very expensive to start with because it was only Matalan, so it was probably, I don't know, in the £12-£15 range, something like that. But I think it's a really, really good kind of staple piece in my wardrobe that I've actually been missing because I don't really like wearing sort of t-shirts almost. I'm not a big t-shirt wearer, but I feel that this is probably a good compromise under a jacket because um, it's nice and plain it's not a jumper it's nice and thin so if you if your jackets are a little bit smaller then it's not going to make you know restrict you because of the thinness of it but I think just as a little piece to wear under something like that um, yeah and it's just because it's got just a little bit of floatiness about it it's still quite girly and still quite Flancy. God, I'm coming up with all the uh, all the words today, aren't I? Um, yeah, so I just think that that um, looks really nice. And obviously, if you wanted to sort of pull, because it's got cuffs, I just think it feels a bit more finished off. Um, I just think that's really, really nice. 
and I just feel like I'll get loads and loads and have done already, got loads of wear out of something like this. Um, and yeah, and I'm just, like I say, I'm, I'm all day long loving these, loving these sleeves. So I'm going to show you the dress now. Whistle's dress. So this is how it was when I tried it on in the shop. Now it has, like I say, it's got quite the deep V and I've got my vest on underneath so sort of that much of it is, is, is vest um, because I just feel it's a little bit too big at the top. I feel that with this dress, for it being a 16, they've made it for somebody who's got a much, much bigger bust than I have. It fits me lovely here and I, you know, I do, I really, really, really enjoy that. <laughs> um, and the length of it is really, really pretty and I do really like it. But like I say, wearing it like this, I'm a bit like, yes, I like it. And in the summer, absolutely, but I just don't feel it's doing anything for me here. So I'm going to show you how I wore it when we were actually went out to the 60th birthday party. So this is how I wore it for the party. So if you remember, this is the blouse that I bought in last time's charity shop hauls. It's high necked and sort of a ruffle sleeve. And I just, I really, really liked, I tried quite a few things on underneath the dress, but this was what I preferred. And I just like, I just feel it's kind of quite Victoriana and it's quite, but it's, it's quite elegant. You might absolutely hate it and you might prefer it without anything underneath, but for me personally, this is my equivalent of turning it back to front. Um, because I just felt like I needed some colour or something next to my face. I didn't like that expanse of skin. But I really like this. I am wearing it with, I've got thick black tights on, sort of black opaque tights now. <laughs> Standing on the stool in heels is never ever going to end well, is it? <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. So I wore it with thick black tights and my next high heels, which I got from a charity shop, oh God, about four years ago. These are a pair of shoes that constantly get put in the charity bag and then taken back out and put in the charity bag and taken back out because they are the most ridiculous shoes to walk in i that is too high for me i really struggle with these shoes i love that they're round and i absolutely love patent but i'm just i just can't keep them on my bloody feet um so i basically walked the whole night like i'd wet myself um but yeah i just think that that <laughs> And that's why I've put the black necklace on to kind of echo the black in the dress, but to echo my tights. And I just think that I did have um, a white slip underneath it because that's where the blouse ends there. So I put a white slip on as well so that you couldn't see that. And I just think that it's really, really nice. I love it. I think it's really elegant. And I just, I love that because the sleeves sort of bunch over, it almost looks like part of the dress. It looks like it could be a complete dress. And that's what I love about it. So that is it. And then the next time I wore it, I wore it with this underneath, um, the one I just tried you on. And although it looked okay, it didn't look as nice because it ended here and I preferred it higher. I think it just does something to the dress, having that higher neck. So again, just have a play around in your wardrobe. Have a play around with any blouses that you've got. This would probably look really funky with a white shirt, an open neck shirt underneath with long sleeves, um, with a white t-shirt underneath, um, with a leather jacket and biker boots. I think there's loads and loads of ways that you could make this dress really, really current and really trendy and really wearable because being a white wrapper dress, there's not a lot of occasions that you're gonna have to wear this, but, I wore it when we went to the do and I felt really, really nice in it and I got a lot of compliments and so that can only be a good thing. But I just think it is, yeah, I, I just really, really enjoyed wearing it and being a wrap dress, it brings you in at your, at your smallest point and then skirts over the bits that you don't want it to. So I was really, really happy with that. So um, should I try the leather trousers on? I'll try the leather trousers on. So these are the next 
leather pants. Now bear in mind, I wouldn't wear them just like this, but I just wanted you to show you my Black Dot Martin bits downstairs. I couldn't be asked to go and get them. So I've just got my white stuff boots on, which I've got a little bit of a heel actually, which probably don't look too bad, and break up the it's all black. So I think because they're sort of a softer gray, they probably, I don't know, they, they look all right. Um, I'm wearing a longer top, slightly longer at the back. Obviously, I'm one of them, aren't I? I do that all the time. Now, if I had held it all in knickers, then I probably would do that, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I've, you know, the knickers I've got, I've got a bloody ridge there. Um, but if I was wearing this blouse, by the way, is H&M, which I picked up in a charity shop £2 about four years ago. This is a Next blazer which I got for about a fiver about three years ago and it's like a greeny, silvery greeny colour and I just think because it's got that long length, covers my bum, it's got the rolled up sleeves already, well done next, um, so you don't have to be faffing about with elastic bands and then I would go for a silver bag because it just, silver matches everything and silver's going to pick up the silver in the jacket. Um, so I could probably just get away with wearing that. And I probably could just tuck that in because you're only seeing that little portion of me. I think if I was doing that, I don't think that looks as nice. My legs look shorter, let me show you. So my legs look a little bit shorter. Do that, look like I've got lovely long legs. So it's just about illusions and um, and the way you, you deal with them, but like I say, blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> and I'm on a period at the moment as well, so that doesn't help. Um, I haven't told you my funny story. We went to, <laughs> we, I keep getting vouchers through, the, not vouchers through the post, I keep getting letters through the post about over 50s plans, over 50s savings accounts, over 50s insurance, over 50s holidays, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm obviously on some mailing list somewhere, and they think I'm six years older than I am. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being over 50, but and when I'm over 50, fair dues, but I'm, I'm not. And it's become a bit of a running joke in our house now, so when I get all this mail through, my husband pins it up around the house, because um, he thinks it's absolutely hilarious. Because he is over 50 and he gets nothing. Um, and then <laughs> a few weeks ago, I got some vouchers through the post for tenor ladies. And I was like, at first I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I mean, how old do they think I am? And then actually I was like, do you know what fair is? I could probably do with some of them. <laughs> because, you know, I am a woman of a certain age. I have had two rather big babies and I haven't lived out of my pelvic floor. So I do have problems sometimes when I laugh or I cough or I sneeze or you know, jump up and down, and I thought, do you know what, the joke's on them, I'm going to bloody use these. So it was a box of tenor lights, I'm sorry dad if you're watching, it was a box of tenor lights, and it was a box of like tenor normal, I mean, you know, um, and it, they were both kind of up to the value of like £4 something, and I thought, oh, right, I'm going to do this, and they were running out of date, so when we went down into our local Morrisons a couple of weeks, uh, last week, and I said to my husband, oh, I need to take these vouchers with me, and he like rolls his eyes, and I'm like, sure. So we got into Morrison's, and I, I, I've never looked at tenor ladies before, but oh my God, there was just so much to choose from. But I was like, right, so I need to get a box of lights, and I need to get a box of normal, because that's what my voucher entitles me to. And then I got, I thought, oh, actually, this voucher is up to the value of £4 something, and these lights were £2, so I thought, I can get two boxes of them. So I got two boxes of them, but only one box of the other. So I got them up to the till, and we were already having a bit of a nightmare with something going through the till at the wrong price anyway. So we were stood waiting, there was a bit of a queue forming. And then I, she, she told me the total, and I said I gave her these vouchers. And she said, um, oh, right, okay. So she said, you're going to have to give them me back so that I can deduct them off. Um, and I was like, oh right, okay, so we were fumbling through the bags, and then she said, do you know how much, do you know how, oh no, that's, she basically said something like, do you know how much they are, and I was like, no, and she said, um, because I've already put another voucher through for something else, I can't go back and look how much they were, so do you know how much they were, and I was like, no, and she said, oh, I could really do with knowing how much they were, because I need to know how much to take off the till, and I was like, but, but they were £2 something, and I was like, that's all I know, and she was like, oh, right, okay. 
So he then puts a little light on, doesn't she? Twirling light on the tail. So this other woman comes over. I thought, oh yeah, involve more people. So then another woman come over. She's like, you're right, Barbara. And she says, we need to know how much these are for the lady. And I was like, oh my God, could this be any more embarrassing? So she was like, oh right, okay. And then she kind of started walking. She says, well, I'll have to go and have a look. So she started walking up. She went, are they a box of 12 or are they a box of 24, Brenda? And I was like, oh my God. I was like, this is awful. And there's literally like nine people in the queue behind me sniggering. And I thought, oh, this is just terrible. Anyway, then she bought them back and then she bought the other box back with it because obviously they had to be deducted off as well. And then I sort of made a bit of a joke to the woman on the till because she was like, I don't think she knew what to say. And I made a bit of a joke and sort of half-heartedly to my husband, but half-heartedly to her as well. And I said, <laughs> yeah, they're for my mum. And, um, and she looked at my husband and she went, that's what she's telling you. To which all the people in the queue burst out laughing. And I just went, Vroom. and I just thought, you utter cow. <laughs> and then we kind of stuffed them in the carry bag. And I like walked out of Morrison's like this, like, oh my God, everybody just thinks I piss myself all the time. <laughs> so that's the story of Morrison's and the tenor ladies. Um, anyway, <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this video, this little ramble through my charity shop haul. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big, what's that? <laughs> please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Although my thumb's really hurting. Did I tell you that I did a day of hairdressing yesterday and my thumb's killing? Um, but it was worth it. So it, yeah, like I say, please come back and see me in my next charity shop haul or my next video, whatever that may be. Hit the notification button so you know when that is. And I will see you all really soon. Thank you so much for watching and take lots of care. And I'll see you all soon. Lots of love. Bye.